How's it going, Shaq? Oh, not bad. Uh, you know, just back to the grind. Yeah. Back to the work grind. It, yeah, like I, I, I don't think it's supposed to sound like you survived New Year's. Oh. I thought this was like a, you know, the start of the new year. You right. Know? Yes. Um. Yay. I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, it's. Yes, it's a new year. Wonderful. Um, make sure to write 2022 on your checks. Um, all day. All of that stuff. Uh, if you're still out here writing checks, good for you, you old, you old ass person. You are still alive. Respect. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stop holding up the lines, I guess. But I have the patience for it. I mean, I write checks uh, just for rent. I think that's okay. the only time that I write checks. I, uh... I could not figure out how to get a check the other day. I was trying to make a transfer from one account to another, mm-hmm. different banks. Mm-hmm. And I could not for the life of me figure out how to do the transfer because it's a business account. So I was okay. trying to go from the business to personal mm-hmm. business is me and another partner. Mm-hmm. So the initial name ain't my name. So they didn't want to just give me like a Zell. R- right. So they were like, you could do a wire, but then I got paid 15 bucks to give myself my money. Right. So I'm like, I ain't doing that. That's stupid. Right. And then they're like, well, you know, the easiest way would be to just write a check. Mm-hmm. And I spent like three, four hours trying to figure out how to like get checks. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't like my own check shot, like a physical yeah. gas store on Monte check. Uh-huh. I haven't had that since I opened uh, an account at Wamu as an 18 year old kid. Okay. And that bank does not exist anymore. Yeah, no, they're now chases. That's it. That that was the last time I physically held checks. Wow. The Dominican lady gave me a box of checks. Uh-huh. She said, come pick it up in a couple of days. It'll be here. Uh-huh. I went back to the bank. She <laughs> handed me that one and only box I ever got of checks. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Straight no, up. I I keep checks. I um what well, you know, I'm well, I'm old, so uh, I, I'm just like, yeah, you gotta have a check. <laughs> Even if I nobody wants them. to take it, they will begrudgingly. They'll, they'll moan and call a manager over and they'll want to see my ID and they'll want my phone number and they'll bite it to make sure it's real paper and all that shit. But it's a check. Yeah, it counts. <laughs> no, it's real. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> like, I, I like getting them cause I get like, like, it's like the most fun version of paperwork. Like, Cause every time I get them, I get to show older people mm-hmm. the cool part of technology. Like the second I get it, I'm instantly doing a photo deposit, and that fucks their head up. Yeah. So like we're both in awe. I don't know if I fully trust those yet. I've done them, <laughs> yeah. but I'm like, I'm uh, okay. Just a picture. That's it. Cause people can make fake checks like is that an issue you know what i mean like anyway i will say though like if you made a convincing good fake check uh-huh. i don't think holding the paper was the difference you know no, what I'm saying? i guess not but i just mean like between photoshop and look i don't trust anything even though i you know still have paper checks or whatever look i'm someone who at at places where you have to slide your card in, I shake it first to see if it's loose. Okay. I manhandle the thing to see if it's loose, if there's any kind of issue. And then if it is in any way, and that's ca- and including the little ones, the keypads in front of the teller. Remember Y'all. tellers? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, I still shake them little things. I ain't mad. I do that at the gas station. Yes. I was just, I was, I was, I was really just there. teaching my, uh, um, Aiden, Aiden was like, how do I load gas? So I was showing him how to do it. And I was like, first thing you do, you look around, make sure there's no like weird cameras. And then you <laughs> shake the, the thing that you would put the, the, the deposit, uh, the, the debit card in. Mm-hmm. Cause if it, if it like moves or it doesn't look like the other machines, yeah. somebody try to steal your card. Right. That's the first shit. That's the first steps I showed him to pump gas. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you wild, have to. But I had to. Yeah. You have but, to. Because yo. that's the the main thing they do. That's the first thing anyone does when they steal a card. Yeah. Is get it's, gas. It's, <laughs> like, I, f- I feel like that's how parents of thieves teach their kids. Yeah. Like, all right, listen, yeah, you go to the gas, gas. station. 
You don't have to fake thing. You don't have to put in a thing. You just go straight credit. It's fine. I respect it. But uh yeah, no, I I uh I think that like the 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 photo deposit of checks Mm -hmm. was the first real convincing argument for me that NFTs might be a thing. Oh man. Like, right, if we are Yo. willing to believe that this is real and you never like the bank never held this check. So right. I guess this picture could be real too. No, it's no. Because here's the thing. I'm sorry. I'm just I've just officially decided fucking NFT. Because you know, you go back and forth and it seems like it and it's just like maybe, but no, you basically it's not a way to own art. Okay. It's a way for people who like money. Um, and have money and want to be extra with their money. Right. Be extra, but w- w- with art. Like, here's a way I can be extra with art. I won't actually own the art. What I will do is have a link to it uh, and then attach it to blah, 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 wah, wah, wah. At some point, I don't even hear what you're saying anymore because you're like, you're not owning art. Like, that's, it's whatevs, but don't act like it's the end all be all. It's just a scam. Also, so many people <laughs> over the past week have been, have had their shit yoinked, right? Uh, what's yoinked? What do you mean by that? Taken. They're okay. NFTs. Like the like, I guess they save their links or some shit, and that those are disappear. What? Yeah. Like, was, like the real, real one. Well, what's the real one? That's the thing. I thought like the whole thing with like. The NFT was that because it's on like the whole blockchain system, you could prove who has the legit one because it's it's community based. You uh-huh. know? It's several people verifying the receipt of that thing. Yeah, the receipt of a link. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> Yo, Look here. Talk. Here's the thing. As long as it is link based, there yeah. is some way that someone can get to it. That's fair. That's fair. So just like if you've been writing for a site for years and years and right. that site decides it doesn't want to archive your stuff anymore mm-hmm. and you didn't archive it, you don't have any copy of it yourself, that, that shit's gone. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. That's so it. Done. that's it. You know? And so like, I feel like there was some site, either Huffington Post or maybe BuzzFeed, where a bunch of uh, people who wrote on it discovered that they they didn't get rid of the articles, but they got rid of all the pictures. Okay. So if, especially for BuzzFeed, if you get rid of the pictures, I mean, in the early BuzzFeed days, that was the article. <laughs> None of them jokes made sense now. Yeah. You were just like, <laughs> what did they talk? What is this? <laughs> So oh, yeah, yeah. I tell people all the time. I wrote for S O H H. Oh, did I mean, you? Oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> <laughs> but I can now. <laughs> that just seems like a place where you could put a couple of pictures together. Oh man, I was on the forums heavy. Yeah. But, uh, okay, I, I, I hear you. Yeah. Link baits, you could lose it. So almost. We this... have one percent of our listeners that are over the age of sixty. Uh huh. And I think they are. This is this might be the most on board they've been with something we've said. So. <laughs> I don't know. I just I, I I can't. It also just feels like a, a pyramid scheme. So many things feel like pyramid schemes. I'm really trying to process my feelings and emotions about that. Okay. But that uh, is a, a very specific but necessary uh, New Year's resolution. More people should like purge the pyramid schemes of their life. Yeah, but. Wow, when you start thinking about what are pyramid schemes, <laughs> right? <laughs> like what it takes you to, I mean, shit, capitalism. So, you know, so yo, that hurts so much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I'm laughing to not feel pain. That really like hit the core of my heart, yo. <laughs> so, oh, thank god, I got diabetes and a heart problem. <laughs> Yeah, that, there's merch. Thank Ooh. God I got diabetes <laughs> and not heart problems. <laughs> that should be on a mug. <laughs> oh man, that hurt the core of me. 
<laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Okay, well, there you go. That's how you kick off the new year. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> uh, kick it off today's articles. I thought I thought I'd start on good news. We always start on like the serious shit, but okay. it's the new year. You know, all right. Twins are born two different years after arriving fifteen minutes apart at midnight on New Year's Eve. Sha, that's right. A set of twins who were born 15 minutes apart have birthdays on different days, months, and years after one of the babies was delivered exactly at midnight on New Year's Eve. Fatima Madrigal and Robert Trujillo from uh, Greenfield, California, welcome fraternal twins. Alfredo and Aileen within minutes of each other, but on different days at Natividad uh, Medical Center. San Alfredo was born weighing six pounds, one ounce. At 11.45 p.m., December 31st, 2021, while his parents welcomed daughter Aileen, weighing 5 pounds, 14 ounces, at midnight, January 1st, 2022. Oh, wow. Oh, That's so beautiful. She's, a, she's a, a New Year's baby on top of that. Yeah. So she's a New Year, like, not just, like, born on the 1st, but, I mean, like, born at midnight. Yeah. New Year baby. Oh, boy. Well, this- I hope they're not. I mean, good for them. I'm glad they're healthy. Yeah. I hope they don't fight over who's oldest. Yo, I, I hope they put them in different grades. No, they can't do that. <laughs> they got to lie about. <laughs> they're going to have to lie about how, how, the age of one of them, right? <laughs> you hope so. I mean. I, I, I feel like it's just a fun story. They got to keep telling schools. Like, nah, I, mean, I mean, they're already. Did you ever go to school with the kids who were like. You know, maybe a brother and sister or two brothers or something, and they were like um, not quite a year apart, but they were a school a grade apart, but they yeah. were for part of that like the, the same, same age, age kind of. Yeah. You know, those I think they call them Irish. The Irish, yes. yeah. Um, yeah, I knew I knew a few of those, and I could not understand. <laughs> Yo. I was a full teenager just like, so I don't understand. How are you the same <laughs> age but in different grades? I'm like, oh Lord, Shalewa. Don't Yo. why are you asking about the sex lives of their parents? <laughs> cause yo, the thing is, like, so like cause we almost did that here. Like uh my my son is what, 13, 14 months older than okay. 14 months younger. <laughs> right, right. So like it's not we're not that far off. Like uh-huh. Uh, they don't overlap. Like, there's no time when they're both the same age, but they're like, you know, like Michaela's birthday's this month, and uh, she's one year older than uh, Aiden, whose birthday's in March. Like, they're relatively close. Right, right. Um, but I know, like, as a parent, like, I was very happy for both kids, just to be clear. Like, mm-hmm. super excited when we found out we're having babies. Right. But, like, as a a loving husband who likes to be intimate with his wife. Mm -hmm. I was a little mad at my son. Cause like we had just gotten back into the game and now we got a, we got this situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, wait, so your son's younger, right? My son's younger. Right. So like me and Gabby, we date like seven years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We getting it in. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? We have a baby. Cool. Uh That makes sense. Seven years getting it in. You, you slip up every now and then. You have an all game. You right, know? right. But it's beautiful reward. We have a daughter. Great. Uh-huh. You know? Then you got to wait 40 days. And you like a criminal if you, like, say, yo, day 41, let's go. That's, that's <laughs> yes. brutal. You that's, know what I mean? Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> right. That's, that's horrible. I'm a loving partner. We got to talk it out. Hey, how you feeling? Mm-hmm. You know, all of that. You know, then on top of that is a baby in the mix. Right. It's not like day one we, like, back in it. <laughs> yeah. You know? Uh-huh. So there's romancing and planning and scheduling. Right. So whatever that mix was, I know it wasn't a lot of times from baby birth uh-huh. to finding out we got a new baby on the way. Right. So like when we was doing a checkup and we found out we had an Aiden, like I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like a little <laughs> bit of me was tight. You can only be mad at yourself. I was. But like the thing <laughs> is, Scott, I had a seven year run, yo. Like I was doing it. I hey, was feeling look, invincible. A lot of people don't make it seven years. Yo, you're right. And that, and that's the real talk. That's what my dad told me. Yeah. Like, Yo, you got you, you started time. having kids at the time that a lot of couples break up. <laughs> a lot of couples break up. They don't call it the seven year itch for nothing. <laughs> dad was straight up like, listen, man, you got you got to think 
you should have had kids once every three years. You just had a real good stretch. Yeah. This is the math breaking even for you. Now. Yeah, absolutely. It is every, so, every two to three years. Once you get to every four years, that is, um, to me, weird and too much time in between. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> just cause you could have a kid not in the same school or something. You know what I mean? Right. Right. And I, I think, um, as an older as an older sibling, I think you should always have a moment where you and the younger sibling are in the same school. Okay. But I didn't have that with my sister because she ended up going to a different high school. Oh. But we are three years apart. So she, but for the two years before she started going to high school that I was in high school while she was in elementary school, she still yeah. would show up at some of my high school things. Mm. And then she went to like a magnet school, but all the people in her elementary school went to my high school. Okay. Okay. So, so she, she went to like a chill. performing arts high school, but everyone from that elementary school uh, that, that feed, they, they would feed into my high school. So I yeah. knew her friends and her I friends know. were still, some of her friends were still there. Yeah. So it was close, but not exactly the same. But at four years, we might, we would have missed each other. Right. Right. And I think that there should be a time where you're walking through and you're like, hey, you're so-and-so's brother or whatever, you know? <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah I, I don't have that with either sibling. Because they're like, – Oh, because oh, that's a big jump, Yeah, right? we got a huge gap. Mm -hmm. my, my kids have that like very directly because, you know, they're, they've always been in school together until this year. Mm -hmm. But like I, don't, like I don't know anybody in my brother's life that I'm not related to mm -hmm. like, at all. I don't mm -hmm. know any of his people. I met his girl – of like three years, like last year. Wow. And like, that was like a big thing. Like, I don't know none of his peoples. Then like my sister, she's like more attached to me. So like, I've met some of her home girls and I'm cool with one of them, mm -hmm. you know? So like, they come to me when they're like tight at their parents and they'll come talk with us. <laughs> right. With like me and Gabby. Right. Like we're the cool adult house. Yes. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so I kind of like that vibe. Like her and her homegirl come over though. They'll, they'll like, they think like me and Gabby got it all figured out, mm -hmm. you know, cause like we got, like we keep wine in the fridge, like wild shit like that. Yes. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah they yeah. think that's so impressive. Like, oh, you can just drink wine when you want. I'm like, no, we need wine like at these <laughs> moments. So we just have it on the ready. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny my mom was that my mother and father were that too uh all of my cousins on my mother's side because my mother was the youngest of seven and mm. then she waited later than the rest of her siblings before having kids okay so my first cousins there's like my sister and then three years and me and then like a 10 to 12 year gap before the next <laughs> set of cousins so they when they were in new york they would hang out with my parents because they were the youngest of their aunts and uncles and they were just cool and they had these two little kids that just would just sit around and just bounce to music like they were, they were. So that's what, that's who my cousins were very fond of my parents because of that, because they were the cool aunt and uncle. I like that. Yeah. yeah. You sold me on this. I like this family dynamic. Uh, if I have more kids, I'm going to have two. Ooh. You know, but I'm not going to at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I I recommend to these uh, parents it, since they're two different days. Don't dress them as twins. Fight that urge. Yeah, you're right. Don't do that. Just have just have two kids with the first name. You know, <laughs> even if <laughs> even though they are, I mean, you felt it as twins. Don't dress them as twins because <laughs> it's because it's like, oh, so your birthday's on the 31st. Well, mine's on January 1st. I'm sorry. What? You know, it's going to take people a minute to get that math done, <laughs> even though it's very simple. I love it. I'm all about this. I, I, I It's like an instant one liner. They got a, they always got an icebreaker. That's true. You know? Every time you do that, like, silly thing when you start a new job mm -hmm. and they make you say something about yourself at the beginning. Yeah. You got to figure it out forever. Oh, gosh, that's so smart. Yo, it's good an for instant them. icebreaker for life. Well done. Look yeah, at good for them. Oh, kudos, man. kudos. In particular to to, to Aileen, the, the sister, because the, the guy just came out. You didn't really do nothing. You just showed up. Right. But she had the fortitude She to made an entrance. Do you, do you hear me? She ate that. She made Hell yeah. It. Not she only looked, am I going to wait primer. 15 minutes, I'm going to come out right at midnight on mm -hmm. a new year. 
Yeah. Well done, Aileen. Mm -hmm. I salute you. (laughs) (laughs) A record 4.5 million Americans quit their jobs in November. That's right. A record 4.5 million Americans voluntarily left their jobs in November, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This pushed the quits rate to 3%, a number I didn't know they were tracking. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was called the quits rate. Yo, that's you could tell that this is a new thing. Yeah, they, I was like, I, I don't think that's what, I don't know, call it the quits <laughs> How many times are there are there other quits? I don't know. Plural. Quit a lot of a lot of quits. It keeps happening. We need some quick. Come on, let's go. Uh, matching the high from September, uh, workers were most likely to quit their jobs in the hospitality industry, which had by far the highest quits rate at six point one percent in November, as well as those in healthcare. Mm-hmm. The numbers in transportation, warehousing, and utilities also increased. Yep. Bang bang. That makes Y'all sense. Up. I don't blame them. <laughs> we it. are terrible to our servers and our, and our hospital people. I'm not. But Yo, I, right. yeah, I, I'm not surprised by this. Um, because I they love just, this on all fronts. Yeah, I just, man, they just treat them so bad. I understand, yeah. how, I understand that restaurants are running on a razor thin margin. But mm-hmm. I mean... And it truly is. There have been places I've seen stories of restaurants where they're like, well, I don't know. Maybe we should just what if we pay them more <laughs> and they offer more money and then suddenly they have people who were there oh, no. and happy to. It's how so wild, wild how <laughs> just they just hold on by the skin of their teeth. and just like we won't pay them more, but we don't understand why they're leaving. <laughs> 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 they are the front line between an angry spitting crowd and my ass in the back swimming in coins like screw the gut. <laughs> and, and suddenly they want to go. I don't get it. Oh, I, 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 I am stunned that it's taking them this long to figure it out. I'm happy for I'm it. I'm not. I, I think I, I'm not surprised just because you've, you, you, when you're waiting tables, you build your life on taking money home every night. Mm. So it is scary to go from every night you have something in your pocket to, okay. Oh, I got to wait for a week, maybe two weeks to get my money. Yeah. It, Cause you budget differently. Yeah, I agree. I've so seen that. I could see how it would, it's hard to just like, uh, but I mean, this, I mean, COVID just fucking turning on the lights and <laughs> hitting all, all these the roaches corners are scattering. <laughs> <laughs> and just letting everybody see what it's, what it's like. And uh-huh. people are show truly showing their asses. That's it. You're supposed to scrub behind the stove, B. Yeah. Okay. Oh God. It's a mess. seen it all. <laughs> I, I, I'm a fan of all of this. I feel like. Uh, for far too long, like people just mistreat the front line of every, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, people facing job that I could think of. Yep. So I think a, uh, very directly it lets the companies to do that. No, we got to pay these people more to get people that are better able to handle those things. I don't think everyone can do those type of jobs, mm-hmm. but the people that do them well, for whatever reason, are not valued in this uh, in this world or at the very least in this country. That's true. And, you know, we need to put a higher value on the people that do this job and these type of jobs because we all use them, mm-hmm. you know. Um, second, I think that uh, I'm also kind of happy to see more people try them and quit. So that we have a higher respect for those jobs because you've done it and you realize, oh, that ain't for me. Absolutely. I ain't about that life. You know, because there's a lot of people that like have have avoided it, but this is increasing the amount of people that have been frontline at some point. I kind of like that. Like you get a reality check of how hard that is mm-hmm. and hopefully it leads to like a trickle down of like, oh, I can't do that. Let me respect that a little bit more. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm all about all of these moves. And third, just in general, I like keeping businesses on their toes, B. You know, quick, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, they get they get comfortable and they think that they could just keep coasting. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, every now and then throw a little quit on them, B. Yeah. Give them a right. one week or something, you know what I mean? You don't even need to give them the whole two. Like a whole lot L right there. I'm out this bitch, you know what I mean? Throw a little quit on them. <laughs> Wow, you're really coming up with the t-shirt ideas today. I'm going to write that one down. Whoa. We out here, baby. Merch coming soon. A little. Also, that's going to be L-I-L. 
<laughs> Throw a little Yo, quit on If him. they ain't a little quit rapper <laughs> out there, I'm so tight. That's there dope probably name. was in like the early aughts, but I bet he's <laughs> like 40 now. <laughs> Little quick, little quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the world's five hundred richest people became one trillion dollars richer last year. That's right. The world's wealthiest people whose fortunes already strained comprehension. Yo, respect <laughs> CNN business <laughs> collectively gained one trillion dollars last year, according to Bloomberg's uh, billionaires index. Elon Musk, the world's richest person alone, uh, gained nearly $118 billion in the last 12 months. Meanwhile, the United Nations estimates 150 million people fell into poverty during 2021. Eat the rich. Yo, for real, we out here. Eat them. Starving. Man, that's insane. That uh, I, it, I mean, CNN business is right. You, we can't fathom these numbers. I don't think it's real. I, I like the numbers are so inflated and so much that I'm just like, like I've said before, put a trillion dollars in a suitcase and put that shit on the table. Like, let me see it. <laughs> what does it look like? Yeah. Let me see what it looks like. Let me see what you are worth. I want to see the size of the suitcase that carries it. I, I'm blown away by these numbers. Like this is, I did like if, if they all gave up that money, not all of it, just the money from last year. And spread that out. Like, that would solve so many issues. Did you see the... Um, One. Yeah, they're never going to do that. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> stingy bastards. Um, <laughs> did you see this tweet, maybe, that I think Elon Musk tweeted out? What? About... About... The taxes? Taxes. Yeah, he says he's going to pay more than anybody. Well, guess what? <laughs> you should, my G. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, said, uh, he said that. He, how much is it? How much is the total? He said, hold on. It's my OK. For those what this is what his tweet said, quote, for those wondering, I will pay over 11 billion in taxes this year. Like I'm supposed to cry for your ass. <laughs> Guess yeah. what, my G? That yeah. still leaves you one hundred and seven billion dollars up <laughs> right. for the year. That's not even. Yeah, that's not even what you made in the year. So, wah, 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 bruh. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Get out of here with your crying ass. $107 billion up after that. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't feel now, for man. you. The nerve. The nerve. <laughs> I'm not crying about you having to pay that. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it's okay. Well, let me, matter of fact, just out of curiosity. Mm-hmm. He's paying eleven billion dollars, right? Mm -hmm. You want to try out so, find the percentage of that? No, it's it's under ten. But like, this is what I'm curious. Where are we at here? Uh, that's one twenty. So his his tax rate. He's paying eleven billion dollars, right? Mm -hmm. He's gonna pay in taxes what the one hundred and eightieth. Richest person in the world is worth. What? There's only 180 million people that are worth more money than he owes in taxes. <laughs> you know how wild that is? Like, yo, that is crazy. So someone, yeah. So someone who is a honest to God billionaire. Yup. He's paying what they're worth in taxes. Yo. Like, for example, number 190 worth $11.5 billion. Oh, wow. Right? So his tax rate is Michael Prokhorov. That's the Russian dude that used to own the Brooklyn Nets <laughs> and was considered the richest owner in the league at the time from illegal money that he gained from, like, selling guns and weapons in the Russian government, supposedly. Oh, wow. So a shady <laughs> Russian corrupt governor... Who owns a team? That dude's whole net worth is just is what this dude's paying, paying in taxes. taxes this year. Not what he's worth, not a percentage of what he's worth. It's a percentage of what he made this year. That's how much money Elon right. has. So that's wild. That's that is wild. Also, I think I would have respected this tweet more if he had said something like, "Can I borrow someone's kid for a write-off?" Like. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Know what our struggle is. Don't just throw the dollar out just like, just so you know, I got to pay a whole lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, to us, we think it's a whole lot of money. That literally <laughs> fell out of your pocket as you were changing pants. So I, <laughs> I'm not feeling for you. But if he had thrown in like a, I had to borrow my nephew to, to get you know <laughs> tax, I mean, people would have been mad. But I would have understood like, okay, he he's struggling. He's, he knows he's being a shit. <laughs> 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 like he's taking the piss now. But I, I respect the joke part of it. Yeah, you know who's worth eleven point two? Who? David Geffen. I. Oh wow! Wait, really? Yo. This dude in taxes this year is paying DreamWorks, all right? You ain't give us Asylum Records, okay? <laughs> you ain't give us no cartoon movies, not one. Wow. This dude worked his whole life for that shit. You paying off his net worth in taxes this year. That's how much money you made. That's wild because David Geffen's been in the game for a very long time. Oh. So I'm like, I I had to take a minute and just be like, well, good for David Geffen. (laughs) I forgot to be proud of him from all the things that he had done. (laughs) And now now I am like, well, good for him. And now it's back to fuck Elon Musk. (laughs) Yeah. Like you legit just made me feel sad for David Geffen right now. You understand how wild that is? I'm like, oh, damn, wow. poor David Geffen, he's struggling with two billion dollars. That's never anything I've thought about <laughs> David <laughs> Geffen ever. <laughs> oh man, well done, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk with perspective right there, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you guys hear this, the BlackBerry will have died off, Sha. Oh man, that's right. The legacy. BlackBerry devices will lose all text, call, and data functionality in 2022. That's right, dear friends, we've gathered here today to mourn the death of the once beloved monarch of the mobile world, BlackBerry. And I did not write that line, by the way. That was no, that's, he's literally reading the article. I'm that literally this reading from. this. <laughs> uh, as of January 4th, any phones or tablets running BlackBerry's own software Uh, That's the BlackBerry 7.1 or earlier. BlackBerry 10 or its tablets operating systems will no longer reliably function, says the company. Um, If for whatever reason you want to hold on to your BlackBerry after the New Year's, just know that it will be a paperweight going forward. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) It's over. You know anybody with a BlackBerry? Like currently? Yeah, like that's that's hard. I can't find y'all out there. No, I don't know anyone with a BlackBerry. Isn't that what um? Wait, is that what the government wanted Barack to use? But he was like, I don't want to stop using my iPhone. Or was it <laughs> flipped? I can't remember. I feel like there's, you know, there was like a presidential cell phone. And it was like literally one of those big joints <laughs> with the antenna you pull up and a little plastic flap. <laughs> and Barack was like, uh, no. <laughs> like, no, nah, I'm good, B. Yeah. <laughs> Who was the last holdout you know? Uh, I don't know. I can't think of anyone I knew with a BlackBerry, like, yeah, like who was just like Ma BlackBerry. You know what I mean? I don't think I knew anyone who like <laughs> flaunted it. No, it, my, uh... If so, it was like a, my boss in some somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I knew anyone, any of my peers that were real hardcore about the BlackBerry. Usually, it was someone who I had to ask for vacation time. Yeah, yeah, it's deaf OGs. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> my uh, my father in law was a, a BlackBerry like heavy, mm. heavy dude. Like, uh, but he worked in like the church, so like I knew like this how I knew the churches was going to like take L's because of stuff like this. Yeah, like, they would have lasted the transition. You know, it took him a long time to get on the BlackBerry bandwagon when it was popping. Right. And they, they when they finally figured it out, they were like, nah, we can't let go. Yeah, you know? I bet they probably completely skipped beepers. I feel like... <laughs> Yo. I feel like if you got a BlackBerry and you're very loyal and you've been using it for an extremely long time, that you were just... Either a job gave it to you or right. you were just super slow... To get like maybe you went from beeper to BlackBerry and you skipped like two way 
pagers yeah. or something. Like there was something major in between that you were just like, ah, I'm going straight from landline to, you know. <laughs> like I can see you going from landline to BlackBerry because there were buttons on the thing. Yeah. Right? In like a he way- hated when we were chirping. When we oh. were doing a chirp, he oh, hated the- that shit because he couldn't understand. Oh, sure. That was Blackberries yeah. did that? Nah, that's what I'm saying. Like we were the the Blackberry was out at the same time. So it was like in his house, it would be me and his kids chirping gotcha. everybody. And mm-hmm. he's trying to do like serious business. He's like yeah. phones are for work. And we like, nah, be you know? <laughs> and like <laughs> he was tight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nah, it was a uh, very different energy for sure. But uh, now nah, it's done. If you were BlackBerry holdout, uh, I'm I'm assuming uh, your 401k is uh, you know able to get cashed out now. So look into that. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, maybe start taking mobility classes to just you know you probably got a little arthritis <laughs> in your joints. You might want to just <laughs> start moving things around. That's check it. on Those your hip, are... things like that. <laughs> now that you won't you have this block bones. on your hip, you might you might be able to move around. <laughs> oh man, pour you up. <laughs> yeah, pour one out for the for dad's belt belt clips. <laughs> wow, <Those> carriers <laughs> on the belt. Yo, it's over. how do I say goodbye? <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh man, I'm sorry for y'all. It happens, you know. Yeah. But it is time. It is time to let go. You know. I uh, I support this move. You know, BlackBerry got to die off right now. I mean, it happens, but so. wait, weren't they like um, super secure? Yeah, they were like safe, from what I understand. Yeah. Um, because that's I think that's how they got their whole like initial push and how they held off for so long. Like I think like when the smartphones first came out, like they got like hacked a lot. Like, yeah. Uh, the old like uh. Was the Google phones and the Android, the initial ones, where they weren't as secure for, like, work shit? Yeah, remember when those came out and everything was open source on those (laughs) Android phones? Good God. Oh, yeah, it was wild (laughs) reckless. Wild (laughs) reckless. Yeah, one of my friends got one, and he's just like, yeah, you could just build stuff on it. And I was like, no, thank you. (laughs) Like, nah, Mm -mm. (laughs) Yeah, Somebody tried to convince me of that when it first came out. They're like, nah, you should get one of these. And I'm like, nah, because like I ain't, I ain't the one that's going to be building. It's going to be someone taking my shit. Yep. I probably ain't building an app on my phone. Like I don't got that's- the time for that. I ain't going to learn it. You know? Yeah. But uh, somebody out there way smarter than me is going to take my credit card off of my phone that I put in once. And that sits over. <laughs> All because I got this thing. I bought, <sighs> I bought a fake iPhone on eBay when it was like the iPhone 2 that ran on like Android technology. And, like, it looked like the iPhone iOS, uh-huh. but, like, you could put, like, three SIM cards in it. So it was, <laughs> like, the iPhone for, like, like cheating people. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> I don't even remember what early iPhones look like. Yeah, it, it was. they're, like, boxier, essentially. Like, they're bigger. Uh, yeah, I, I would guess, but I just don't – I feel like – well, let's see. They weren't flipping or anything. They were just like a. Were they bigger than a Nextel? I don't know. Like what I find impressive about the iPhone is that every iPhone feels like it's almost the same as the last iPhone. But uh-huh. if you go back like three iPhones, you don't know how to use it anymore. Right. You're like, what is like this? the changes? Of, yeah. Like I went to like <laughs> an iPhone Seven. I didn't know what was happening the other day. I tried to help like my yo. <laughs> I tried to help my uncle. He was like, I got an iPhone 7. I'm like, oh, I had one of those. I didn't know what to do with that thing. Like, no- nothing made sense to me. My thumbs weren't in the right place. That's and I owned so it for like two funny. years. That's so, so I don't funny. know how they do it, but they figure it out. Uh, oh don't count on that tax refund yet. Uh oh. Because it may be smaller this year, Shy. That's right. If you're banking on a tax refund, it may be smaller, or you may owe money this season, according to financial experts. Uh, Typically, you get a federal tax refund when you've paid or withheld more than the amount you owe uh, based on taxable income. Uh, The IRS subtracts the greater of the standard or itemized deductions from your adjusted gross income to reach your taxable income. And there are a few reasons 
why it may be higher in 2021. Um, the American Rescue Plan, signed by President Joe Biden in March, boosted the 2021 child tax rate uh, to 3000 from 2000 um, per child age 17 and under, with an extra 600 for children under the age of six. Millions of families received half of that up front uh, through uh, $250 or $300 monthly payments from July to December, meaning they will have a smaller write-off at tax time. Um, so working families are not expecting this, um, and it's going to shock them a bit. Um, as an example, if you qualified for the $3,000 tax credit and received payments for $1,500, you will claim $1,500 uh, when filing your taxes. That's $500 less than the $2,000 you would have claimed the previous year. So even though overall you are getting more money over the mm -hmm. course of the last year, at tax time you will get slightly less mm -hmm. uh, than you got gotten before. Uh, so, yeah, be ready for that. Uh, then, uh, moreover, uh, you may have to return a part of the advanced tax credit if your 2021 adjust, adjusted gross in, um, income exceeded certain limits. Um, so look into that. Um, also, the uh, Paul student loans um, in March of 2020, the U.S. Uh, Department of Ed gave millions of Americans the options to pause their monthly student loan payments. And nearly 90% of borrowers accepted. While the break <laughs> Yo, let's just take a moment to marinate in that. Yo, you gave them a chance to pause and 90% of the people said, yes, sir. <laughs> and you still, you're like, I don't see why we need to cancel. 90%. 90%. Not even Mar like a slight majority. All of them. <laughs> the other 10% were just people who didn't see the, <laughs> they didn't know you could do it. <laughs> They're finding out right now. Listening right now, to like, podcast. what? Where do I? Yeah. <laughs> they moved, so they didn't get that notice. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. Them college educations are going to fall, baby. That's right. You know what I mean? That investment <laughs> is paying off. <laughs> While the break offered relief through 2021, there's a trade-off at tax time. No write-off for the student loan interest. Uh, typically, borrowers may deduct up to $2,500 in interest, depending on how much they paid, and it's an uh, above-the-line tax break, reducing gross income, even without itemized deductions. Uh, the $2,500 benefit starts to phase out in 2021 with modified adjusted gross income over seventy grand for single fathers, one forty dollars for joints. Uh, so, yeah. We oh, taking out, yeah, baby. Yeah, but uh, you know, <laughs> <So> we know, <laughs> we know. I feel like that might be why we're not as as excited. I feel like um, twenty twenty was just such a wallop, mm -hmm. and then twenty twenty one gave us a little bit of hope and then snatched it back. Right oh back. boy, did it snatch it! Just whiplash, it snatched it back so quick that twenty twenty two we're just like. Mm. <laughs> you know, like we're just like I don't, mm, I don't Everybody know about looking you. at it suspect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I I got got last year. So what you gonna do? <laughs> you ain't gave me twice, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh uh, man, I love I I love this whole approach to twenty twenty two. You mm. know, what I mean, everybody looking at it like the the last like casserole at a potluck. You yeah. know, like do you, you know, like what's really in that? Okay. Yeah, it's I see, very. I see you clean your hands in the bathroom. We're extremely the side eye is strong on 2022. Yeah, I respect it. I respect it. Mm -hmm. This is how we should approach life in general. Uh, I mean, I'm here. I don't trust nobody <laughs> or nothing. But <laughs> you guys are finally on board with shot. Yeah, a, as a, as welcome, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> But still don't get completely on board with me. I don't know you like that, but welcome. <laughs> welcome to the other side, but stay in your place. Yeah, okay? right. <laughs> don't come too close. <laughs> uh, a hockey fan uh, spotted a staffer's suspicious mole from the stands and saved his life. Uh, and NHL staffer had ca a cancerous mole removed after a fan of the opposing team spotted it from the stands and urged them to get it checked out. He now credits her with saving his life. Um, it all began on October 23rd at the Seattle Kraken's crazy name. Uh, first <laughs> ever uh, home game against the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, Brian Red Hamilton, an assistant equipment manager for the Canucks, was clearing off the bench when a young woman seated nearby noticed a suspicious mole on the back of his neck. Uh, the Kraken fan and Tacoma, Washington resident Nadia Pope 
uh, Popovici, uh, 22, recognized the irregular mole from her time volunteering in hospitals, uh, wanting to warn Hamilton, but wary of making him uncomfortable. She typed a note on in large font on her phone and pressed it against the glass. The mole on the back of your neck is possibly cancerous. Please go see a doctor. That's right. This is the less uncomfortable uh, note she chose to type. Oh, like also, and I don't know if this story has it, but I read about this in the Times yesterday. Yeah. Um, she wrote mole, um, cancer, and doctor in red. Yeah. Respect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she knew <was> serious. Yeah. <laughs> Got this dude's attention ASAP. <laughs> well, uh, while Hamilton later said he initially didn't give her the time of day, as most would uh, not, I think that's a little wild. Uh, he asked his wife to take a look the next morning, and she noted its weird shape. Uh, the team physician also didn't like the look of the mole and removed it. Within days, a biopsy revealed the malignant uh, melanoma in situ two, meaning the cancer was only on the outer layer of the skin and was detected before it could even become more dangerous. Um, she didn't take me out of a burning car like uh, like the big stories, but she took me out of a slow fire. And the words out of my doctor's mouth were, if I ignored that for four to five years, I wouldn't be here. Um, so, yeah, really, really dope. Um, and because of this, uh, the two teams, the Canucks as well as the Kraken, teamed up together. And uh, they're giving her $10,000 that she can put towards uh, her education. She wants to be a doctor. She's starting medical school this year. That's um, so really fantastic. Dope. Yeah, man. Also, I mean, if it's someone from an opposing team, it's such a weird way to heckle someone that it kind of <laughs> has to be true. And yeah. in the in the New York Times story, she was like, she did it. And then she said she immediately regretted because she was probably like, she thought like, this guy probably thinks I'm some idiot. Just like this. That, I, I overstepped you know right right and he nah. and i would totally his reaction was what i would expect of just like all right lady and then leaving um he, but he was like <laughs> he was like i i figured that if someone in the stands for the yeah. opposite for the opposing team saw that and was so moved to yeah. write out that detailed text and put it up against the glass, I probably, let me just have my girl look at it. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, if that bitch is willing to do all that, let me just go on and see. Let me let, let me have her see what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love so many of the little details about this because, like, uh, my wife scopes the back of like all my skin mm -hmm. looking for blackheads to pop every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like if anything cancerous is growing on me, I know she knows first. Right. Okay. So like, I'm worried about this dude's relationship because she ain't even noticed a, and when she did notice, she ain't say, Oh, that's crazy. She was like, yeah, it looks a little weird. Like maybe I don't know. they're both just uh low key people. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? Maybe they both are just like, hey, yeah, that's probably a problem. And then <laughs> who knows? You know, I mean, it's hard to, I don't know. I mean, maybe they haven't been together that long. I, I think, I don't know. I don't know. Brian, you know, you got, you got, you got to get closer with the message, man. Yeah. I know, I know you're traveling with the team, respect, but you got to put in some home time, man. I'm now looking at my body to see if there's anything on it that I would. I mean, I do. I, I know I check for bumps when I'm doing the lotion. Sure. You know, and then uh, Gabby looks for blackheads. So I know she's scoping if I got cancer. That's so we good. good. That's good. I'm, that's it. We I'm got, alone. I got so anything that happens in, in between my shoulder blades, that's it. That's how it's going to get me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can reach it. That's really when you're alone. Uh, it really, your, your goal in life is just to stay limber enough to unzip the dresses that you're in. To zip and unzip the dresses <laughs> and to be able in some way to reach most, if not all, of your back. I don't even know if I can. I haven't tried in years. Yeah, that's literally, that's as far. Once I can't do that, it's a, I'm, it's a wrap. <laughs> I got to, I either <laughs> need to lose weight or get, uh, you know, liposuction or find a man. I don't know. I'd rather, <laughs> I mean, both are impossible, losing weight or finding a man. I guess I just get a back scratcher. That's it. My goal in life is to be rich enough to live somewhere with columns. 
Mm. So I got to worry about that. That's I true. Scratch. I'll just sharpen the corners of my room. <laughs> There's a 50 year old woman scratching herself like a bear on the tree in her front yard. That's it. We, we solving problems here. All right. You know, <laughs> we're giving you options. That's it. You know, somebody give us a scholarship. Okay. We just help all of you scratch your back a little bit easier. We did. We really did. Right there, you know, we don't need $10,000. 15 bucks. Great. We just want pizza. You know? That's true. I just want a nice Thai noodle meal. That's all That's I want. It. We ain't crazy, you know. We ain't, we ain't spoiled like that, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, if but, I'm gonna look at all of your body, but just the whatever's outside you know? of a sleeve. That's it. Yeah. Why not? You know, <laughs> I'll point out that you should add a little lotion to your elbow. That's it. Oh yeah, I'll tell you that for sure. All day. I'll let you know. <laughs> Uh, finally, uh, a veteran flight attendant worked for the United worked for United for 23 years using a false ID. Federal court complaint say uh, that's right. A veteran flight attendant stole the ID of a dead American child and used a false name to work for United Airlines for 23 years. In a complaint filed in the U.S. District Court of the Southern District of Texas, in Houston, investigators from the Diplomatic Security Service accused. Ricardo Cesar Guerra is a Brazilian national of identity theft of William Erickson Ladd, a deceased American. The complaint said Guerra went by Eric Ladd and used a stolen ID to illegally work for United Airlines. Ladd was born in 1974 and died in a car crash in 79 in Washington State a month before his fifth birthday. Ladd's mother, uh, Deborah Lynn Hayes, uh, confirmed the boy's birth and death uh, to DSS special agents in July of 2021. Investigators alleged that Guedas was born in Sao Paulo in 1972, but assumed Lad's identity in 1998 when he successfully applied for a U.S. passport using Lad's name. Since then, Guedas has renewed his passport six times. <laughs> Respect, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Respect? December. Is that what you wanted? Respect? Is that how you want to go with that? I think it's dope. He, he found an idea, you know. He stick. He stuck to the plan, you know. Double. It's like football, you know. Like when you do a running play and they don't stop it, the coach says run that play again so they figure it out. You mm -hmm. know, that's what he did here. He ain't tried no new scheme. He found the hustle that worked. Kept running the same hustle. Uh, you know, do you think that it was him trying to get over, or do you think it was him trying to get here? I would assume the latter. Yeah. Like because he ain't do nothing. Wow, he's just trying to get work. Right. Yeah. yeah okay. I, all right. I, as I'm saying, I ain't mad at it. I feel like this all works for me. <laughs> not <what> I me. Mean? <laughs> because they know. Because keep in mind, like nothing about this article is like unless I'm missing it. I don't know if it comes down to the bottom. Like Guedes like crashed the plane. It sounded like he worked for 26 years and nobody complained. Nobody. No, no, he was a he was a flight attendant. So yeah, yeah. nobody told him about write ups. <laughs> like, yo, he ain't give nobody they soda on time. Right. There's nothing about that in the article. So that dude worked for 26 years. You know what I mean? Wow. So it sound like he was good. United has a thorough verification process for new employees that uh, complies with federal legal requirements. The carrier said, ha, ha. My man said, nah. Uh, Guedes has been charged with providing a false statement in a passport application, falsely impersonating a U.S. citizen. Isn't. What the, see like stuff like that bothers me. Right. Right. So like he's falsely impersonating the US citizen. Whatever it takes to be a US citizen, he he's done. He's done it. He's mm -hmm. been a uh, a viable positive addition right. to this country. Yeah. Right? He's working, he's paying taxes as mind you not as himself, <laughs> but he but is. He is, yeah. He's he's doing the thing. Like he's everything that we would want. You know what I mean? Great. Did he do it a weird way? I'm with you. Give him a tax. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Give him a ticket. <laughs> Give him a ticket. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, Yo, I mean, huh. How many people are out there with somebody's, somebody else's social or somebody else's name and birthday? Do you know what I mean? Of, like using someone else's stuff. I like. Yo, real shit. Like I don't, I'm, I'm fully legit. But I have a fake one. I just don't, I didn't use it. Right. <laughs> like, I know when uh, when I was born, my dad wanted me, like, my dad's dream was for me to be, like, uh, like, a tyrant dictator of the Dominican Republic. 
Like he wanted me to take over the government. So I wonder how uh, common that dream was in the, in the DR. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted me to overthrow the government, you know what I mean? And like be the boss over there. Mm -hmm. But he wanted me to have a better life here. And so we moved here. I was born here, but there's like a rule in DR that like uh, to be president there, you got to either be born there or be there 35 years. And he knew I wasn't going to rack up 35 years out there. Right. So he got a fake one of me being born over there just in case I ever changed my mind. And if he like converted me, I could go back home and be like, nah, I've been here the whole time, my G, you know, despite the accent, I'm pure DR, you know? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I just want so, yeah. everybody to sit in that story for a while. Straight up. That's my fan, baby. We out here. You know? <laughs> what? You know what's wild? Like, what's wild? Me no, tell me. What's wild, Gaston? <laughs> what's wilder than the story you just told me? There's so many people that be like, yo, G, your stories is real. I'm like, you got no idea. <laughs> like, everybody's like, yo, you can say that. I was like, just to be clear, every time I tell, like, a story... Just keep in mind, that's like, yeah, I'm comfortable sharing that one. Like, <laughs> right. I'm like, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, yo, he just said that. And I'm like, no, he knows what he's doing. He said that because yeah. that's an okay that, one to say. Yeah, I'm good with that because I know I ain't break no laws. My name is clean. Right. All right. I ain't do shit wrong. <laughs> and while my dad got that weird paper, you got to find that paper. Right. Okay? You know what I mean? That shit ain't out there today. <laughs> what you gonna, you gonna arrest a six year old dude in another country, take him back home? Right. For doing something illegal for me? Like, there's so much. Like, if all that happens, kudos to you, Dominican government, <laughs> for imprison imprisoning my dad over this shit. All right. Props to y'all. Maybe you shouldn't be overthrown. Y'all got shit figured out finally. And really, okay? I mean, who hasn't done that if they wanted their son to play baseball? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Come on. Everything about that tells me he loves his country. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's all I heard in that whole story. Okay. <laughs> so I'm cool with it. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so let this man, this man, all he wants to do is serve tired and stressed out people in the air alcohol. That's it. That's he it. He wants to tell people, hey, the bathroom's down there. Oh, you know what? I wonder if he turned himself in because things have been getting too crazy on the planes. He was Yo. like, fuck this. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm it not Eric. <laughs> My name is Ricardo. <laughs> There's an anonymous tip. I'm not me. <laughs> Yo, look into me. I mean... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ask about me. <laughs> oh that's awesome anything to uh, keep from having to duct tape people to seats especially <laughs> on united <laughs> yo it was wild enough yeah there, yo. united was wild i'd do you that absolutely <laughs> oh man that's perfect uh if you would like for me to be a dictator <laughs> to be a dictator in the Dominican DR. Republic. <laughs> All you got to do is like and subscribe to the show, baby. If only your father knew that. That's all <laughs> it would take. That's it. It's I promise you that would be the only way my dad signs up to <laughs> iTunes so he can like this podcast. <laughs> Four stars. You don't want me to take over that country. You know, you a hater, mm -hmm. okay? You enjoy your two weeks out the year when you're down there with all you can eat, Okay. <laughs> Five stars, you believe in the dream. So much so, you even going to help me get a fake birth certificate for Shalewa. She's Dominican, too. Ooh, I would be the, the most <laughs> useless Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> how do you say sharp in Spanish? Uh, uh, Shalewa. Uh, I don't know how to say sharp. Uh, yeah. They will. Yeah, they're they going to figure it out. They'll tonight. figure it out. And I still will be like, huh? Who are you talking to me? <laughs> Yeah, I I, I, I got to brush up on my Spanish too. That's not that hard of a word. I <laughs> know how to say that. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that now. I sold fur because you don't say sharp when you're selling potato chips. Right. So I never had to use it in Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, even when I sold furniture, I would have assumed sharp would have came up once with like an edge. <laughs> you know what I mean? But right. no, apparently nope. I, I, sold, I sold all them sofas, all them nightstands, never says sharp in Spanish. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? <laughs> And by the way, when I take over DR, mm-hmm. all of my uh, all of my rules, all of my my laws is going to be very potato chip and furniture centric <laughs> at first, just because that's all the Spanish I know. So I'm so, so bear uh, with them. Bear with me that first year. Give, you know, give us hear, five stars, but bear with them. Five stars, you know, because the, the 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 potato chip laws mm-hmm. going to be stringent. <laughs> that I will I will regulate the shit out of that at first. <laughs> <laughs> the rest give me some time i'll figure it out mm-hmm. <laughs> if you got any articles you want us to cover dm us directly at silky jumbo or at gastro i'm on on twitter or instagram with all that said i am dr's new dictator gastro i'm on with my co-dictator chalet with shaw i didn't sign up for that everyone aka oh i looked it up uh Afi- afilada chalet oh. afilada wow that's a lot that's two um <laughs> two uh <laughs> Let's see, that's a Spanish last name. Yeah. And then my first name's Nigerian. There we go. We <laughs> and, out there. And I am the most American person you will ever meet. So <laughs> I wonder where the accent goes in Shalewa in Spanish. Shalewa. Probably. I think that's how I've heard it. <laughs> there we go. We out here. Look no, at she already ready. We are not out here. <laughs> <laughs> he is out there. <laughs> but thank you for listening. <laughs> this has been a war report. Slightly reckless ending, admittedly. Catch up next time. Peace. <laughs>